Hey guys, it's Brandon with Rusk Woodwork and Family. Tonight, we're going to show you a couple ways we actually cut our stars out on our flags. One of the ways we use a plastic stencil. The second way we use a, a stencil that we make from our vinyl machine. It's a one-time use. Both ways work just fine. Uh, just depends on how many unions you have to cut out. So, let's get to it. When we first started cutting these stars out, When we first started cutting these stars out, we started out with the stencils here, the plastic stencils. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how we we started out, which I'm not going to make you watch every one of them, but you just outline the stars. Right here you can see where your outline is. I'm going to go ahead and show you the second way. cut these stars out I'm going to go ahead and use my Dremel uh, 3000. I've got the flex rod. Um, then I'm going to use the bit 105 and 106. 105 I'm going to go ahead and outline it and then 106 I'm going to come back in I'm going to clean it up. It's a little time consuming but it makes it look look really good. Get started here is um, while I'm cutting these out I'm, I'm going to be using 105 and 106. 105 is going to be uh, outlining 106 I'll use to clean it up and I may go ahead and use number seven to get the uh, the middle part and clean it up a little bit faster um, I'll leave a link below to all these tools I'm using uh, you order them off Amazon so with all that being said let's go ahead and get to it this flex hose makes it really easy to carl
some of this the stain bled all the way through so I'm gonna have to sand that out of there um, afterwards I'll go ahead and burn the stores here in a second and see how much it covers it up it usually covers it up pretty good but we'll see When I burned them, <clears throat> this particular flag here, I'm bur they want it rustic, rustic looking. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm, gonna, I'm burning it all one direction. <clears throat> so when you're looking down on it, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, it gives it a, a look. I'll bring the camera over this way. It gives it a look that just looks amazing. <clears throat> See how I just burn it back and forth besides going both ways. I just burn it up and down back and forth and uh, it gives it a, a really good look I really like that I've done a couple of them like this um, basically we just uh, however they ordered the flag is the way we do it so um, it's a pretty flag it's gonna be it, it's gonna turn out really good so that's gonna wrap it up on cutting out the stars um, like I say the Dremel 3000 and the tools, I left a link below so you can go check them out on Amazon. Also, if you're interested in, uh, you know, actually painting your stars, mainly the vinyl I use for painting, but uh, just depends on if I have some cut out or if I'll just want to go ahead and lay the vinyl down and paint it. As you've seen that these stars already had some paint on it, usually I, will, I, I like to just use the sticky vinyl uh, just to put a little coat of paint over it just so I can see the stars better while I'm um, cutting them out but um, like I say it's not necessary but that's just the way I choose um, I really don't use the stencils anymore uh, not since I've got a vinyl machine now I do all my cutting and stuff so um, I'll leave a link below on what kind of vinyl I use for the stencils and um, you can get one of those vinyl machines for a couple hundred bucks so 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not yet, please hit the subscribe button below, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.